mostly all done in Python. The first app is one that we use just to test and to get metrics on frame rates and to see how long we're spending doing each of the processing steps. It's a, probably one of the most direct visualizations of the uh, end result of the entire detection, tracking, and if we had to turn on prediction, pipeline. This particular app itself is all written in, using Piglet. The next app then is fairly uh, a large to jump to go from that to building a finger painting application. And um, this is a really big hit at Maker Faire when we showed this last October. The kids are they're banging on the thing, you know, on it, getting ice cream on it. Um, but this is sort of one of the obligatory apps that everyone writes when they have a multi-touch display. I think the reason why it's so ubiquitous, though, multi-touch is because it's you know fun, it's easy to use. You can't quite see it because of the way that camera's set up, but as you're changing the colors on the color bar there, the, uh, the streaks are also changing their colors. So, I don't quite see it, but that's starting to hint at some of the capabilities that you can get with multi-touch, that you can interact and configure a tool on a palette in one place and actually be using that tool or doing something with it uh, in another part of the screen. And it's sort of, uh, Robert like said, this is the, some of the power of multi-touch is not so much you know, 25 fingers doing complicated gesture, but rather lots of single touch all happening at once. And this, this thing like this, you just can't do with single touch, so that's why I think everyone else likes to do it. Like it. One, one of the reasons why it's an obligatory sort of multi-touch app. <laughs> so then, another, another pretty ubiquitous multi-touch thing that people like to do is map visualization. And so we've written an interface to Google Earth that allows us to use our multi-touch device to interact with Google Earth. Now the pan and zoom operations, they're just very natural um, and, and pretty easy to use. Everyone knows how to do it. It feels really nice when you do it. It's, it's interesting to note also that you know, map viewing navigation, we do just fine with the mouse. But the reason that, again, people show this off is just because it's so much fun and it's very natural. Now actually, our Google Earth, and you might notice that it's a little jittery, and that's because the way we're actually doing this is we're, we're trapping our, our, our uh, multi-touch events, and we're using Apple Script to tell Google Earth to move the camera around. And then we know there's some sort of secret Google Earth API that we're not privy to, but if we get access to that, we can make it more responsive. So if there's any, there's any Google Earth out there that might be able to get us access to that, please come up afterwards and talk about that. We'd really appreciate it. So then the next thing is um, showing, actually using multi-touch for something a little more serious. Uh, Enthought is actually, at Enthought we do scientific software and we're a scientific software company. And one of the things that we do a lot in scientific software is visualization. So Chaco and Myavi are two of our visualization toolkits uh, or applications that we have in our, in our set of open source libraries. Um, this is showing Chaco, which is a 2D plot, interactive plotting application. And it shows that we've integrated multi-touch, actually at a fairly low level, uh, into the stack here. Chaco is built on top of a uh, vector-based component model called Enable. And what we've done is we've just stuck a new kind of event into Enable. That's a, uh, a finger touch event, basically. And it's pretty easy to take some of the tools in, in Chaco, some of the interactors, and make them just multi-touch aware. So we can make any Chaco widget, any Chaco primitive, multi-touch capable. Um, another Chaco example that we've got here shows, um, it shows a plotting canvas. And it's a little bit hard to see the text, I think, because uh, we've got this video camera going and projector and all that. But you can see that you can select a data source on the left here on this toolbar, and it brings up a plot to show you what that data source looks like. Now if you touch two of them, it quickly shows you, you can quickly see the correlations between these data sets. And this is a very simple demonstration of something that is extremely easy to do with multi-touch. But that would be, you know, with a, with a single touch pointer, you have to click this one, or control click one, then control click another one, or click and click a tool and click another one. And so with multi-touch, you just don't have that at all. I mean, you just put your finger down and it's done. And you see you can drag out new plots, you interact with the plots that are dragged out. You can move the entire canvas around, scoot it off the screen, start over, get some new plots up. So again, this is Chaco, and because we have this interactive, because we have 